What is up, guys? It's AJ Marco here. Welcome to MLB Slotfest Loaded number 25. Today it's a Mortal Kombat. Actually, it's sat only that way because we have Sub Zero versus Scorpion. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa, that looks dope. And they're using bats as sword. Swords as bats, excuse me. Man. Anyway, guys, I'll upload to 12 p.m. 4 p.m. Eastern time, so please be sure to hit that bell so you guys don't miss out. Anyway, I want to apologize yesterday because there was a late upload because a lot of things were going on at once, and apparently I forgot to hit public, or maybe there was a glitch in the studio on the last episode, so I want to apologize for that. So, anyway, anyway, if there's a first pitch, is uh, it's gonna be a single. Oh, what the heck? The pitcher got in the way. Anyway, there's Steve Finley. So the Sub Zero is the Mariners and the Scorpion, well, Diamondbacks. But uh, man, I like the uniforms. They're dope. They are pretty dope. So, yeah. And the pitcher for Sub Zero is none other than Jamie Moyer of the Seattle Mariners. Jamie Moyer of the Seattle Mariners. Pitched until he was 49 years old, making him one of the oldest pitchers that are pitching the game. There's a fly ball to right, and he, oh whoa, oh no you don't. Double play, ha ha ha. Guys, this uh, by the way, this stadium is called the Forbidden City. Looks that is awesome. It was, it's actually perfect for the, the setting for Mortal Kombat if you think about it. And that's Luis Gonzalez, 2001 World Series hero in that uh, Mortal Kombat outfit. So, yeah. The lefty lefty matchup and what's the ground ball. Easy play. Got him. All right, three up, three down. After a dull play. So, we got Ichido, Randy Wynn, and Boone. Now, who's pitching for, for the... Uh... Wait. Is that... I'm afraid we're going to have to face Randy Johnson. Pitch. Whoa! Okay, who is it? Who's pitching? Who's pitching? Yep, I knew it. It's Randy Johnson against E. Tito. Here's the pitch. It's a base hit. I gotta make sure my timing is good because this is the big unit. One of the most dangerous pitchers in Major League Baseball. Randy Wynn, he's batting right handed. He, is, he was a switch hitter in the last. He was a switch hitter. Fly drive, base hit. Oh, shoot! Double. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Man, that's actually perfect. <laughs> it's like bam. <laughs> There's Brett Boone, a bolt, a powerful second baseman. There's pitch, line drive. That's gonna be a the base hit into the Forbidden City. Wow. He, he's gonna be running. He's running hard, and no one's gonna stop him. Inside the park, home run. That is how we do it. And we get a two nothing lead. There's legendary Disney hitter Edgar Martinez. Hitch. Whoa. Man, this is definitely gonna be a little hard with the big unit. Whoa. <laughs> Speed is definitely on the par with that pitcher Randy Johnson. This is gonna be hard. The pitch. It's a base hit to left field. And that will be a single for Martinez. This could, and there's John Oru. Lefty, lefty, guys. Be ready. Here's the pitch. Ooh. Hey! My guy. Ugh. I don't know he's 40, but I didn't think he was that cruel. Gosh. Okay, so two on, one out. The pitch. Foul the way. Let's try to get one a home run. I know you go, you gonna lock stuff if we hit a home run at this part. That is, that is, castle and the the houses were definitely pretty interesting. That will just load the bases because we are not gonna test the arms. Bases are loaded, loaded. There's the World Series hero, Scott Spezio from the 2002 World Series. He was an angel and he actually helped the Angels win game six after he arrived with a three-run home run 
and they end up winning that game, and, and then the next day, they won the World Series. Pitch. Oh! Uh-oh! The, the, the center! Grand Slam! Mortal Kombat! And MLB Slugfest! Yes! All right, Grand Slam home run makes that is a big smack in the face. Sub Zero, you prove it to me that you have the power. I, I understand how you feel for all that power, but it's only the first inning. I'm sorry, that's not my best um, Scorpion um, Sub Zero interaction. Minotaur unlocked. Ooh, that's awesome. Anyway, six nothing sub zero. Okay, Randy Johnson's gonna throw some serious heat. He he had that three quarters delivery. To, that's when he pitch like pat pasture, not over your head, but it's like between the the side it's the sidearm and a uh, over the head delivery. So that's technically why it's a three quarters. And it, he whips it hard when he pitches. Up, oh, that's it, dude. That's off the wall. And whoa. Uh -oh. Well, you're not watching. <clears throat> Ouch. Well, well, their catcher's like two for two and taking guys out of the plate. Nice e Tito. e Tito. If he gets a single here, you guys get to see that co ice cold fire. Yikes. I don't understand. I don't understand how they can handle those outfits if they transform into that. That, that has to be hard. And that's going to be a single. And look, Ichiro, he's on fire, and there's blue flames coming from his feet. And camera guy, you failed your job. Okay, so there's two outs, runners on the corners. The pitch, okay, 96 on a fastball. But Randy Johnson somehow is still in. He actually had an off year in 2003 because of injuries. Okay. And it was no 2004 that off here. Then after his Diamondbacks career, he ended up going to the uh, Yankees for a couple years, and that is in the center field, just short of a home run. And that's gonna bring at least two, and that makes it it's eight nothing. Manager, get him out of the game. There's Brett Boone. Brett Boone. Burger. Oh. Okay. 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 Okay, guys, let's... Okay, Mortal Kombat! Oh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. <clears throat> we in the, and that's going to be interesting. And and let's see, the winner of that... Fatality. <laughs> okay, so we... Ha that was interesting. Don't tick off Sub-Zero, people. And that's a, that is a scorcher, and that's going to be at least two runs. That, and now we will make it. Uh oh, don't get out there. Oh, let's go. Gonna be, it's showtime inside the park. Home run. They say okay. Eleven runs. Yikes. This is this is his cake. But I would say uh, Brandon John should be out of the game. And that's all right. That's the third out. But that's but at least John Orwell has hit the ball. Last time he was able to got hit by a pitch. Yikes. Okay, so that makes it a interesting. 11 nothing lead. We're in good hands. Reggie Sexton. Re Sexton. He's up. Line drive. That is a base hit. Oh, yep. That that makes it. And now we got a. Now we got ourselves a little ball game. The first pitch. Center field. And that's. And that's going to be at least a. For just one out because we, he was too close to the back. Alex Centron. Alex Centron. He's a hitting coach for the Astros last time I checked. And that is... Oh! A double play! <laughs> That's two straight double plays in the in the innings. Wow. All right. Johnson's still on the mound. That's going to be a bad mistake. A really bad mistake to pitch. Whoa. Yeah, the Forbidden City really must love baseball because of all those balls because we're the hitting the balls for one but it's also it's also very cautious because everyone's so high up at a castle my draw that's a base hit for Abanias if he's up uh oh never mind it's that will be slugfest they will throw you out with power-ups perfect throws 
There's the hit hero, Scott Spezio, hit a grand slam. A grand slam home run. So that was something cool to see. And that's a base hit. By about a few steps. And they finally get a new pitcher. Brandon, Brandon Webb. Another old pitcher. Sadly, though, this, in the end of his career, he was injured a lot. And when the Rangers signed him, he never pitched a game, and he has never pitched ever since. Sadly, that's not where you want to end your career. And that's a drive in the left field. That is not even close by my guy. And we're running hard to the plate. And out. That was lame. And there's Ben Davis. Ben Davis, he was he's a switch hitter. But so he's left hand now. That's a base hit. An easy single making it 12 nothing. Scorpion is getting rocked. There's Etito. Look at these the cold flame on that battered feet. So that's going to make them worried because there's all that cold fire. Oh, a rare Etrio big fly, and that makes it 13 nothing. Etrio was a guy that never really focused on a lot of home runs. He always focused on getting a lot of big hits when hits. That's why in the major league career he has over 3,000 hits, but over 1, 1,200 in Japan. They totaled those up, and that then they passed bait the great Pete Rose, but they only went by MLB records. But hey, Sub-Zero gets the 14 nothing with the power of Etrio. Etrio! There's the pitch. Whoa, that's a scorcher. Oh, whoa! Right on top of the, top of the stands. And let's see. And, okay, so that was interesting. A little kick and he goes to third. More fire. Blue fire. D pitch. Oh my goodness. That is that another one? That's into the guard, it looks like. Wow, we wow wow. That makes it that's that's a blowout if I ever see. Mercy rule? Maybe we should mercy rule this? I don't know. <laughs> There's no chill. No chill at all. Literally, no chill. It's, and chill is usually like cool, cool, but no chill is in he's not chilling out. Make it 16 and nothing. Sub zero. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there's Edgar Martinez. Edgar Martinez is up. They still are looking for that third out. And that was a nasty swing. Whew. I'm sure he. I'm sure guys who you know Scorpions are y'all. Get over here! <laughs> That's definitely what you don't want to do right there. But. 0-2. Yep. <laughs> Get over here! Okay, so that makes it another big blowout still. It's 16-0. And that will lead to the next hitters. Shea Hillebrand. He ends up going to the Red Sox later on in his, after his career. And that is a somehow a single. And now there's a runner on first. Right, can we do three double plays in this? Danny, but... Okay. Okay, massive fail. That pitcher I just saw was not Batista. That's Miguel Batista. So that's why. In fact, the truth of the matter is that was Miguel Batista. He was a pitcher. Danny Batista is an outfielder. Robbie Hammock, the catcher. That guy is pretty strong, underrated. Okay, that's the first time they actually got two hits. And okay, we get they got runners on first and second. One out, and here's Roberto Almar. Roberto Almar is at the plate. He's Hall of Famer, and that's a drive in the center field, caught, and missed, and up, ooh, bam, boom. Okay, so there's two outs, Steve Finley's at the plate, third inning, the pitch, he hits a pop to the center field, and caught. That makes it the third out, and we will go to the bottom of the third with a big blowout, 16 nothing. Ol' Rubanias and Spezio. So, it feels good to be a great lead in the ballpark. That's in the gap, but that's going to be diver. Never mind. Never mind. So, that. So, Holroyd still hasn't gotten a hit, unfortunately. No sweat. 
we're in a big lead. Ooh, that looked, that guy looked silly swinging at that. So we got, so we got one strike already. Oh, fouled away, still alive. Staying alive. The special pitch didn't work. But that's oh, good catch. And and now let's see who's up next. Scott Spezio, who hit a grand slam. The the pitch, that's fouled away. Fouled away. Okay, there's the fouled away again. That's a souvenir for the fans. Okay, now we got 0-2, the pitch. Okay, Spezio strikes out. That's the end of our at-bat. Going to the four, but the score is still 16-0. Okay, I know this title says Mortal Kombat and Baseball, or but that's just... I didn't just did call it randomly. I actually knew there was a Sub-Zero in Scorpion in this game for a while. I just never unlocked them until now. And now that I did, I have fun with it. Okay, that hurt. Okay. Alright, that's gonna hurt for a little bit. Oop, I can push the Okay, now we now we're in some action. <laughs> la la la. There's Greg Colbert, the Desi hitter. Diebacks were at a time naturally didn't have Desi hitter, they do now. Uh oh. Oh there goes a shutout with the stupidity. Alright. Now, now we got some issues. And that's fire. That's literal fire. So, that's something you definitely want to see. There's uh, runners in the corners with no outs. And they finally get around the board. Which uh, is pretty... Which is good for them because they really want to need to get a comeback if they want one. Alright. This is a right field. And that's two outs. That's the first out, finally. And, oh, ooh. Now there's fire. So, that has to be interesting. Now, it's still 61, but they got runners on in score position. And Shea Hillbrand is up. Okay, that's first pitch strike. So, we. Oh, JB Moyer is. He's not the most powerful pitcher, but he's definitely got some spot pop in terms of, like, getting guys out. Hmm, let's try to end this. There is the 0 and 2. Swing and a miss. He looks silly swinging with that sword. There's Danny Batista. That's not the room we give Batista. That, that's B Danny, not Miguel. There's a difference. And third out. So that make that's the end of their bat. We're going to the bottom of the fourth with the score. 16 to 1 now because they finally scored. There's Rich Aurelia. Very cold personality. Pitch. That is a base hit for Rich Aurelia. And that would, now there's a runner out of first. And they, and they have literal fire. Because we have blue fire. They have literal fire. Yep. That makes it interesting. And that's a little loop in the center field. That's an out. For the, that's the first out. And they got a one out. Here's Ichido. He had a massive homer last time up. With the power of the blue fire. Woo! That's the first strike. Crazy pitch there. They don't have special pitch because that requires a five star. But that's okay. Ooh. Whoa. Ichiro hit a line drive home run. And 275 feet. That's the shortest home run in this park. That. And so that make that's going to make it 18 to 1. Thanks to the power. And yeah, you guys scream. Knock it off. Knock it off. You sound like Scorp actual Scorpion doing that well sound like you look like scratch score you're doing that when he's mad there's randy win also has got blue fire don't hit him please the pitch that oh that's gone see ya into the garden another home run get him out of the game this this is definitely sub-zero territory rep boom is up he t oh man there's three straight fires i don't, I don't know how he can handle it yep I get him out of the game now. Three straight home runs. That can't be good. Back to back to back. Yep. Still keeping him in. Okay. Okay. Twenty to one. And you're getting. And you're, he's getting pummeled. And there's another hit. I wouldn't keep him in. This is ridiculous. 
And he's only gotten one out in the fourth. Yeah, there's John Olrud looking for a hit here. He wants a hit. He needs a hit. The pitch. There we go. See, that is going to be... Oh, it's a home run. The Stadia went into the center field, and that is a home run. So this first hit of the game is a home run. The power of Sub-Zero. That's right, Sub-Zero. 22 to 1. That's definitely not something you want to be proud of. You're already our team. But that is Scorpion. Because Scorpion should be like on fire. If you're Scorpion, you should be on fire. Fire. Pitch. Fly drive. That's going to. That's into the gap. So new speed. Going to be running and safe. So that makes it a double. We'll still one out. Get him out of the game. I guess the man's just not hearing me. So still one out. New Spezio. Fouled away into the crowd. That's going to be a very long game for still to this day. <laughs> okay. 0 2. I every time they swing funny, they add that little <laughs> sound because that's literally how silly I feel. 0 2. La uh oh. That is gone. Home run. Their right field is the shortest in this game. It isn't even shorter than Yankee Stadium. It's like 260 feet, 65 feet, it's two, or 269 feet. It's, and that's cold the way he hits the home run. It's second of the game after he hit a grand slam. And they're still keeping Brandon Webb. Okay, that's the um, worst manager decision ever. So, um, I guess after this, after he gets it out or gets another run, they get him out of the game? Uh, let's see. Woo-wee! Okay. Webb is losing it. So we have 0-2. There's a pitch. That's grounded. And that's the finally they get the second out. Because they still need one more out. And finally they get another new pitcher. Shane Reynolds. Shane Reynolds is up. So two outs. The fourth here is the pitch. That first pitch to from Reynolds is going to end up being a single for Davis. And Davis is the catcher, so that makes sense they could actually hit some because catchers are news you know from power two. They have to be because they can need to throw guys out. Ichio hits it, and that's the third out. They finally get the third out, but that should never have gotten to this extreme. They woke up and chose violence, they say. So now it's 24 to 1. Hammock is the catcher for the Dimex, the pitch. The ground ball, that's going to be a single. And now he's on fire. Intense fire. Roberto Almar. Roberto Almar is at the play. The pitch. He pops it to center. Oh, go get it. Oh, whoa. Good catch. And second. And that now make it a beat up, beat up, punch fast. Bam, bam. Welcome. This is my domain. Sub Zero is, or the Mariners are, two are one, two outs away from winning because I do five inning games because nine inning games would take a super long time. Learn that the hard way. Out in, so out and double play. That's how we end the game on the third double play of the game for us, and we get the win. We unlock a new team, and that is how we do it. Thank you guys for watching. I mean, tell me your favorite Mortal Kombat character and I will see you guys in the next video. God bless you rock don't forget it.